Welcome to this instructional video on the proper application of an amniotic skin membrane to a wound. Amniotic membranes are a cutting edge solution for wound healing, enhancing cell regeneration, reducing inflammation, and minimizing scarring. Let's walk through the full process step by step. Step one, wound assessment. Before applying the amniotic membrane, a thorough wound assessment is critical. Look for necrotic tissue, slough, or biofilm that could inhibit healing. For optimal results, it is important that the wound bed is clean and ready for graft application. Step two, wound debridement. If the wound contains dead or non-viable tissue, debridement is essential. Using sterile instruments like a scalpel or forceps, carefully remove any necrotic tissue or slough. This step promotes a clean wound bed, allowing better adherence for the graft and for faster healing. There are different types of debridement, including sharp or mechanical, enzymatic and autolytic. In this demonstration, we're focusing on sharp debridement, which is the quickest method. Be thorough, but gentle, ensuring all non-viable tissue is removed while preserving healthy tissue. Step three, clean and irrigate the wound. Irrigate the wound thoroughly using sterile saline. This step cleanses the wound and provides a moist environment, which is crucial for the successful adherence of the amniotic membrane. Step four, maintain a sterile field. After debridement, continue to maintain sterility. Put on a fresh pair of sterile gloves and prepare the wound care materials. You will need sterile saline, non-adherent dressings, sterile scissors, and the amniotic membrane. Step five, prepare the amniotic membrane. Carefully open the amniotic membrane package in a sterile field. Use sterile forceps to handle the membrane, ensuring you do not touch it directly. If needed, trim the membrane using sterile scissors to match the exact size of the wound. Full coverage of the wound bed and surrounding skin is necessary to promote healing. Step six, apply the membrane. Place the amniotic membrane directly onto the wound bed. Ensure the membrane covers the entire wound, extending slightly beyond the wound edges. This promotes cell migration and encourages healing from the outer edges towards the center. Step seven, ensure full contact with the wound bed. Gently smooth out the membrane with sterile gauze to eliminate any air pockets or folds. Ensuring the membrane is in full contact with the wound bed is critical for its effectiveness in promoting cellular repair. Step eight, apply a dressing. Cover the membrane with a dressing to protect it and maintain the moist wound environment necessary for healing. Foam, silicone-based or hydrocolloid dressings work well for this purpose. Make sure the dressing allows for moisture retention without adding too much pressure. Post-application care and patient instructions. After the procedure, provide the patient with clear instructions for home care. Advise them to keep the dressing dry and undisturbed. Schedule follow-up appointments to monitor healing. With proper debridement and application, the amniotic membrane serves as a powerful tool for wound healing, acting as a biological scaffold that supports cell growth and protects the wound from infection. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the application of an amniotic skin membrane. By following these steps, you can optimize wound care and enhance healing outcomes for your patients. For more information, and resources on advanced wound care, visit us at www.rxwound.com.